My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. 69 Camaro SS time and you know what SS means, super sexy. That's what this is right here. And we have a photo album of a body off frame rotisserie restoration. It was taken down to a bare shell, completely restored from scratch uh, on up. And then there's a bunch of receipts and literature for the work that was done as well. This will go with the car. But we have a 502 crate big block motor under the hood, overdrive automatic, rack and pinion steering, four wheel disc brakes, air condition, leather seats. So it's more than just good looks. It's got some giddy up and go and some comfort behind it as well. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study about 100 pictures. That's where you'll find the price tags on all of the collector cars that we are offering for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon so you're notified when the new ones are posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, the pictures show this thing up on a rotisserie. No doors, no fenders. I mean, just the body shell, and then they, they restored it from there. So everything under new, underneath has been taken apart, replaced, all the bushings, you know, ball joints, spring shocks, all that's been replaced. Uh, it has an upgraded brake system. It's four-wheel discs. They're drilled and slotted rotors. E-brake uh, system is hooked up. Uh, rack and pinion steering in front. You look up at the motor as an extra capacity oil pan. It helps the motor run cooler. Uh, chrome flywheel cover, high torque starter. It's got a 700 R4 overdrive automatic transmission. Uh, and that was rebuilt to handle the horsepower. Uh, drive shaft's been rebuilt, balanced, U joints replaced. A uh, 12 bolt rear end, nice polished finned aluminum uh, cover. Uh, fuel system's been replaced, the tank. Uh, it's a fuel injected car, so it's got the proper uh, braided lines and uh, fuel pump for that. Uh, it's been driven about 3,000 miles. So, I mean, underneath is really nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not detailed. There's road, uh, you know, uh, road rashes, you know, just from rocks and that sort of thing, but it's still a really nice underside. All metal, no rust at all. It's got a lot of goodies under there. Now the body, it's got a little bit lower of a stance. I can just tell standing next to it, yeah, this is definitely lower than normal. So it's got a good look. Uh, it is red, red, nice red paint, slick. You don't feel the stripes at all. So let's start here. Uh, this fender is all real nice and clean. Marker lights new. This is slick. There's a little nick on the edge of the door there, but there is plenty of clearance. It's all metal, all painted real nice. No bubbles, blisters, no damage. It's all real nice. Going up the panel here, it's excellent. No problem areas, no vinyl top. They always look sleeker when it's all red. Uh, it has the exterior trim package. That's the rain gutters. No, actually it just has the rain gutters. Uh, moldings have been replaced. Windows crystal clear. I mean, there might be a little mark here or there, but very nice clear window. Got a spoiler. LED tail lights, they light up real nice and bright. SS blacked out panel. Uh, bumpers re-chromed. Uh, I didn't mention the exhaust. Some nice fat exhaust, Flowmaster mufflers, crossover pipe, and it has the polished uh, tips, with, which are slash cut. Uh, you might find a few imperfections. Here's a couple like pieces of dust got in the paint. So it's not perfect, but boy, it is slick. Here's a little nick right there. Door handles replaced, mirrors are replaced. Got a metal cowl induction hood. Polished torque thrust wheels. A little bit wider in the back, it looks like. A little meatier tire in the back. The Enduro bumper, it's a rubber bumper, uh, you know, painted to match the car. And it's got a couple, a nick right there and a little one right there. 
Uh, and there's a crack right in the middle of the spoiler. Those are really cheap. Don't even worry about that. Uh, grill is new. So you got a really slick looking exterior. I mean, it's got it going on. If you're going to spend the day waxing it or inspecting it, you'll find a little imperfection here or there. But it's straight, no rust, no damage. Beautiful. So why don't we open it up and check out what's inside? I really like the trunk compartment. It's been boxed and upholstered. Uh, I think that's a really nice look, nice finished look. Uh, but it's boxed. You've even covered over the uh, tail lights and uh, carpeted floor. So real nice looking trunk. And they got this little strap right here. Velcroed in place. You got a whole carpeted compartment in there. You got a fire extinguisher. Comes with a car cover. Fix a flat. Uh, so you got extra storage for your stuff back there. Just a nicer, cleaner look. And then all the red is painted slick. The weather strip is new. Looks like the latch is new. Now inside the car is real nice. You'll notice the door panel. Uh, those are deluxe door panels. They're molded. Uh, and you might notice power window switches too were added at least to the front. You have power windows in the front. The small back windows you'd have to reach back and roll down. It's got a custom instrument panel with phantom gauges. All matching. Has tachometer. The vents are new. The AC controls are new. This is a uh, Vintage Air. Uh, no, not Vintage Air. It's another company. Nostalgic Air, I think. I replaced the vents. New dash pad. Modern stereo. Got beautiful custom steering wheel. This is an I, I Did It tilt column. Uh, beautiful billet levers. Down on the floor, you got new carpet, embroidered mats. And then the seats, we got actual leather uh, sport bucket seats. They recline. There's red stitching. You got a factory center console, but it is updated with the overdrive shift indicator. Notice the kick panel lights are working. It's got new seat belts front and back. And the back seat matches the front. Same pattern, same seat belts, the back panels, the headliner, visors, the mirror, all that's redone. The light works at the back of the console. Speaker tray, the trim around the back window, all that's really nice. If I had to pick anything on the interior, this armrest over here, the vinyl is bubbled. Not split or cracked, but it's just bubbled up right there a little bit. Door jams are painted real nice. Weather strips, window seals are replaced. And this is a 502 motor. It's been gone through. It's putting out about 550 horsepower. Got aluminum heads, Edelbrock intake, and it is a new uh, Fitech fuel injection system. It's got an MSD billet distributor with some nice fat plug wires, MSD coil, you got the nice boots over the wires, they run neatly. You got a premium dipstick for the transmission, really nice Chevrolet valve covers. The front of the motor has the March drive system, it's all billet, I love those brackets. Nice billet pulleys with the serpentine belt, mini polished uh, AC compressor. It's got a polished alternator and uh, is it a power steering chrome. Yeah, it's got chrome power steering. It's all part of the March system. We also have power brake system. Uh, new wiring throughout the entire car, all new wiring. And we got a Geffen aluminum radiator, dual electric fans, aluminum water pump. That should keep her running cool. Batteries bolted down. You got the nice uh, battery cable ends. Batteries are hooked up. Wiper motors new. It doesn't look like the squirters are hooked up though.
Well, there you have it. If this car don't check the boxes, I don't know what it is you're looking for. It's got everything people want. I know what sells. This will not be here very long. Chances are good that by the time you're watching this video, it might not be here anymore, but I hope it is for you. So visit volocars.com as quick as possible. Uh, I just gave you my impression of the car. Speak to the salesman. Uh, whatever questions or concerns you have, ask them. They'll help you the best they can. They can help get this financed. They can help you get it delivered to your driveway. It's all at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.